Hello, my name is Maureen Lupolilanda. I've been in the music business for quite a while, over four decades, so <laughs> yeah, my business is music. But today I would like to talk about my expectations for next year's uh, budget allocation to the health sector. We see that the past uh, budget had allocated 8.1% to the health sector, which falls short by 6.9% of the expected 15% of the Abuja Declaration of 2001-2001. So we didn't perform too good. We only made it just above 60%. And I'm expecting that next year we do add uh, more to the health sector, seeing that we have so many calamities now that have come in play. Most notably is the COVID-19. And our response to the COVID-19, as much as we've had positive um, in that respect but we were sort of struggling to manage with the COVID-19. We're hoping with the desk of uh, the COVID, the, the, the representative of COVID at State House, we will have a better response to the COVID uh, now that we know that it's here to stay. We hope that more money will be allocated and I'm hoping that we will reach the 15% of the national budget uh, to go to health sector. I hope it will translate more to the rural area because our women out there are struggling to get even a Panadol. First of all, the facilities are far if they are there. Two, very underfunded. The facilities are nothing to talk, to talk, to, uh, to, to talk about. So we are hoping that um, infrastructure will be improved, staff will be improved, medicines will be improved, services will be improved for the rural person out there. The distances are long. So maybe some of the infrastructure that may be included with for the health is even the improvement of roads so that people can access our, the services. May our medical staff also be looked after so that they can give proper service. If someone can't come to the medical center, maybe a doctor can go to the rural person. Um, there's so many things that can be improved in the health sector, but the budget must be increased. So I'm hoping that we will reach the 15 or plus percent uh, increase to the budget to help. Hello there, my name is Sophia Chape Shamano, popularly known as Natasha Sosala, and I'm a Zambian actress. My expectations for this year's national budget for 2022 are to see a government that is deliberate about the spending. I would also like to see a government that is going to be deliberate about marketing the culture of Mother Zambia and will also help our women and the youth to be self-sustainable and self-efficient. By having more economically empowered women, I really believe that it's going to allow our women to be in situations whereby they are empowered enough to leave certain situations that leave them vulnerable and even feeling endangered, like gender-based violence. So in this year's 2022 national budget, if the government can really focus on encouraging and empowering our women and our youth, it will definitely bring about a more confident and powerful Zambian society that we would like for all of us. Hi, my name is Natasha Chansa. I'm a Zambian musician and I'm actually a daughter to His Royal Highness Chief Kaputa. So others may know me as Princess Natasha Chansa. So for 2022's national budget, my expectations are that the budget will actually accommodate for free education for women and girls, inclusive of all citizens. My hope for the 2022 national budget is that it allows for access of schools in rural areas, easy access for children and women and men to access the schools. My hope is that they provide infrastructure that's up to date for good hygiene services for the children, running water, these clean toilets, libraries with up to date books, proper desks and shelters for the children to rest and accommodating for the children that have outside hobbies inside the school, like the drama club and the arts club. I also hope that the arts and entertainment sector can be looked at and focused on. You see, being a young female musician, I have experienced the misfortunes that come with an undefined industry as well as an industry that isn't backed by the government. I hope to see initiatives within the budget that support young female upcoming musicians in this country. It's my dream to see a country that's inclusive of all sectors for all genders so as to achieve fiscal justice for women and girls. Hi. My name is Muiza Zulu and I'm an artist 
and a human rights activist. A lot of the work that I do is to try and reduce the inequality gap because as we know, the inequality gap in Zambia between the rich and the poor is very wide. With that said, my expectations for the 2022 national budget are that it will be a pro-poor budget, a budget that supports the most vulnerable groups within our society, a budget that supports people with disabilities, a budget that supports women, and also a budget with an increased funding to social protection programs such as the Farmer Input Support Program, uh, the social cash transfer, and other such programs. With that said, I know that Zambia is in a lot of debt, and I would like to see a budget also that creates a balance between paying back our debt and caring for the well-being of the citizens. Because debt is our constitutional mandate to pay back, but we also have to care for the citizens. So I hope to see a balance between debt management and caring for the citizens of the country in the budget. Furthermore, one of the problems that we've had in our country is on transparency and accountability. So I hope to see an increased level of transparency and accountability when it comes to spending money on the budget because the money that is meant for the poor in the past has sometimes gone to places where it was not supposed to go at the expense of the poor. So with that said, I hope to see an increased level of transparency and accountability when it comes to the execution of the 2022 national budget. Above all, I hope to see a budget that puts the Zambian citizen first. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia Sakala, co-CEO of S Model Zambia. In this year's national budget, I'd like to see a budget that will cover in the expectations of women and young girls out there to uplift them in their livelihoods. Um, modeling in Zambia is not something that is really supported by the government or stakeholders. We don't know why yet, why it's not that supported, but in this year's national budget, we want to see something that the government would love to contribute to us. We have a lot of models in Zambia who travel around the world to represent Zambia. When a model goes out there, you're not going as Cynthia Sakala. You're going there as Zambia. You're taking their tourism. You're making sure Zambia is known out there to the world. Most people out there don't even know Zambia exists. Most people don't even know that the Victoria Force is in Zambia. We have a lot of national heritage in Zambia, but these are things that are not really known out there until a model goes out there and speaks out on them and lets the world know that Zambia has a lot of national heritage sites. So we would love to see something that the, the government would do this time around to support Zambian ladies, to support Zambian girls. Because personally, I believe modeling is a good talent in Zambia. Same goes for musicians that are always supported. Modeling is something that helps young women out there and keeps them out of trouble. It helps us go back to school. Like for example, I host a pageant with my team called Queen of Zambia and Queen of Osaka. In that pageant, we usually encourage a lot of young girls to go back to school. So in case someone is doing a diploma, when they win the pageant, they go and do their degree. In case they were doing a degree, they go and do their masters because we believe in girl child education and we believe we are the futures of tomorrow. So in this year's national budget, I hope this is something that will be considered and that will help us here at Zambia News. And this is our cry out there. Thank you.